All right, guys, I'm going to talk about the Florida de lis um, This is um, <clears throat> this is scary stuff. I know you guys think this is, has nothing to do with you, but this is serious, okay? This is why God says do not have anything, don't have any engraven images because you don't know how sneaky the devil is, okay? So I'm going to talk about the Florida de lis It literally means flower of the devil, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to, this was um, like a, 600 BC, 65 BC. This is before Jesus, even. Okay, yes, the devil is still around. Of course, he was already laying out plans, right? So we're talking about the Florida Lee. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the Aztecs. Okay, so the Aztecs, um, they said that they saw what appeared to them was a, a snake. A snake that looked like it had feathers all over it. Um, basically, it's a fallen angel named Lucifer, right? And this is in their history. They said the snake appeared to them. Okay, and it especially appeared to them if they ate mushrooms. By the way, um, mushrooms are just a link to the, the, the demonic realm, guys. If you if you do hallucinogenics, you're just you're tapping into the demonic realm. Okay, and um. The snake told them, first of all, it told them to sacrifice their children to it, and they did, okay, and it would make their crops grow, right, um, and other, also other stuff. The serpent, God, they call it God, right, God, the devil says he's Lord, he says he's God. I wonder, <laughs> they probably didn't know the, the the story of Adam and Eve or nothing, they were probably just like, whoa, cool, right, um, so the serpent god told them a bunch of stuff, and it, it basically directed them for their, for the, through their their um and, um their life, whatever. And um, so they started decorating um all their stuff with like what what they saw. It was like a, it's like a, it's called the fleur de lis because it kind of represents what they saw. It was like a, it was like a, a snake that had we that had feathers on it. Okay, it's on all their stuff. And even Native Americans that didn't have, that weren't even, these were, these were Native Americans that were in a, in Florida. They weren't even, like, um, talking to the Aztecs, but they had, their God was telling them to put them, their God was telling them to put this on their stuff, too. They were worshiping this totem pole that had, they told, the God told them to put this stuff, this symbol on it, okay? And then, the snake God told the Aztecs that, Oh, you're gonna these white men are gonna come. The, these white skinned fellows are gonna come, and you're gonna recognize them by their shields and and um, by their helmets. These were the um, Spaniards, okay? And guess what they had on their helmets? Same symbol, right? What a coincidence. Um, um, <clears throat> and so they met and they they recognized like, yep, there it is. There's a symbol we were looking for. There's a symbol we were looking for, the Aztecs. And, uh, Cortez was, had, the, had the same story. Like, the, they said he had a dream that they were going to meet these Aztec people that were, had the same symbol. Like, no joke. Okay? And these were all on their shields. This is not Mary, by the way. Uh, that's another video. This is Isis. But anyway, this is on their shields, okay? The Spaniards. Um, there we go. This is Cortez in 1528. He had it on his shield, okay? Um, this is this is how they reckon the Aztecs and recognized them, okay? But the, Az the Aztec and Mines had been doing this for a long time. A long time before the Spaniards come, okay? And that's how they greeted each other because they, they were both being told by the devil to do, like, look for the symbol. Look for the symbol. Like, that's my symbol, right? <laughs> Flower of the devil. Oh man, eh, we just keep getting smarter. Um, so it was on their shields. It's on their flag. It was on their flags. It still is. It's nothing. Nothing's changed. Okay. Um, here's some more imagery on that. And it was on the Aztec furniture too. It was on. Uh, it's on everything. It's on their. It's on. Um, if you type in, uh, there you go. There, it's all over their their clothes back then, 16th century. Um. Um, I'm gonna look at this more imagery on that. This is the uh, the Native Americans in Florida. I think it says they their God. There's telling them to put that symbol on their on their totem pole they're worshiping. Um, 
more imagery on the shields and Aztec. These were the these are old tranny transcripts, guys. Okay, on the, it was all over the pottery. Um, this is another good one. Okay. See, it's on all their imagery. They were dead, and the snake god was telling them to do human sacrifices too. Okay, I was telling them, "Hey, I need you to do human sacrifices for me." Of course, they did it, just like we're still doing. Okay, we're still doing human fat sacrifices. Okay, I'm gonna put some links below to that stuff. We're still doing the same thing. Okay, um, they were literally seeming. Look at this. Does this look like something that looks good that you should listen to? Who do you think that is, guys? They were talking demons. Okay. They were literally um, conversing with demonic beings, okay, and being tricked by them, and doing human sacrifices, okay. Um, I'm gonna get into another part about America in a minute. I'm just giving you some more imagery. This is uh, this is on it's on Jewish stuff too, okay. Um, and it started from Egypt even. See, are you getting guys getting a picture of this? Uh, okay. It's, it was all over the place. The symbol was everywhere. The devil was telling everybody, inspiring people to put this on everything. On their plates. This is the Star of David. They're putting it on their plates. This, this is the Florida League, guys. It's on everything. It's on all your furniture. It's on everything. We're still being tricked by it, right? Um, I'll put a link to this website. This website has a lot. It has some information on it. Pretty good information. Uh, this is the snake, this is the same snake, um, god they saw, it had feathers, and that's why they decorate all their stuff with feathers, okay? That's why the Native Americans, I mean, the natives, well, probably Native Americans too, but this is why the, um, natives were, um, of Mexico were having feathers all everywhere, okay? They kept, they were representing the snake god that appeared to them, okay? This is another, another demonic entity, it was a jaguar type entity, and it also had that same, um, symbol, okay? <clears throat> all all demonic beings. Okay, there it is again. Okay. And I'm going to get into another part here in a second. I'm just letting you guys look at these pictures because they're important. That all this Aztecs. Um, this is all from back. Um, this is all, all over their stuff. Okay. This is, this is a lot of information. I'm trying to just summarize it very fast because it gets so involved. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm going to get into the next part. Okay, so... The Florida D... Um, so when um, the slaves were in New Orleans, okay... When there was a... This is a curse, guys. This is a really old curse. Um, they were telling the, um, the, the people, the slave owners and the people that were organizing all the slaves, like the white people, they were, um, the French colonists, okay, um, they were, they, what would happen is that when, um, when a slave, it's, it's all over the gates, oh man, you guys, this is bad, okay, it, we don't know. You think this is why the, the Bible says not to have Im any graven images. You don't know what the you guys don't even understand how bad this is. Okay, um, they would brand the slaves with this image. It was a curse, guys. When especially if a slave um, left, was trying to escape, or he was doing something um, bad, quote unquote bad, um, they would brand the slaves with this symbol. Okay, and it would stay. This is a this is where this is a familiar curse. Okay, this is a familiar curse, guys. <sighs> this is a familiar curse. This is cursing them so their families would always be enslaved. Okay, no joke. Okay, this is, um, this is a familiar cursing right here. It's something that stays in your family forever. Okay, and you don't, they don't, you don't know that, huh? This is why, <laughs> this is how sneaky the devil is, like, Yep, slave branding. This is the the symbol they would slant, brand the slaves with, and it's, and it's cursing them. Okay, that probably has a lot to do with why um, and the African Americans have so much trouble with uh, of the law and stuff like that now. Okay, they're they've literally been cursed, and it's 
awful, right? Um, just awful. Anyway, this was um the same thing. Literally, they were cursed. they were branding all the slaves with the symbol. So this thing is really, really, really bad, guys. Okay, this is exactly why. It's on the it's on the saints. It's like on football helmets. It's on your shirt. Um, this is serious, you guys. This is exactly why the Bible says not to have anything of the earth on anything, even flowers, because they seem innocent, right? Um, I have another story. Um, there's this um. <sighs> There was, um, see, when the slaves would run, run away, they would put the florally on them. They would brand them with that when they, when they ran away. Okay. It was a curse. Um, um, there was this, um, guy who was exercising demons. Okay. And, uh, I don't have the video of it. I saw this a long time ago. Uh, this is kind of how I heard about this stuff. Um. A long time ago, but there was all this information on it. But um, this guy was exercising demons, and the um, the um, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk while you guys can look at these pictures. <clears throat> these were the they was telling these things were telling them to eat these mushrooms, and then they would see them better. Hmm. <laughs> and it's all over their this Florida is all over the, their um pyramids and stuff like that in Mexico. Okay. The Aztecs and the Mayans, same thing, same thing. Anyway, um, so this exorcist was exercising this demon, and they always ask them, um, how did you get into the, how did you get into this house, or how did you get into this person? And the demon said Fleur de Lis. It said it, and that guy didn't know what the Fleur de Lis was. He was like, why is this thing, um, talking in French or whatever, right, or Spanish, or and um. And so he didn't. He was like, "What?" And then he went to look up the stuff. He didn't know. He had no idea what this about this. And he went to go look it up, and he was like, "Oh man, like yeah, no wonder this is real, guys. I know you guys think this is baloney, but like this uh, having the symbol all over your house is really bad, and you're just used to it. And you don't know. And God, when you God gives you these rules in the Bible, you think they're just um." You think that they're just, like, suggestions and he's just trying to be bossy. He's not. He's trying to help and protect you guys. Like, no joke. Yeah, see, this thing was telling them... I'm oh, sorry. I'm, this thing was telling them to collect these mushrooms. And, um... Eat them. And they would see... Yeah, this, oh, this one's good. They would see, um... They start seeing these demons, okay? Um, this is scary stuff and this is real. This really happened. It's still happening, and you still put it. It's still over all our furniture, and um, um, if oh, you guys know, I want to just talk about the Stanley Hotel real fast. Let's see if I can get a picture. Um, so on the Stanley Hotel, <laughs> this is not from the real hotel. This is from the movie. Um. Try to find. Anyway, the Stanley Hotel. It's not in the movie because the movie didn't use the real hotel. But um, if you look in the Stanley Hotel, oh, I can find it. The Stanley Hotel is like the most haunted places ever, right? Um, and on on there, I'm trying to find a good picture about it of it. I have it on my phone, but they have the Florida Lee on the carpet. It's really bad. Like it's um. It's not, this is not it. Ah. But, uh, it's no wonder why that place collects so much bad energy. This is the Stanley Hotel. And it's all over, it's all over the furniture. It's all over everything. And they wonder why, one of the reasons why that place is so bad. Okay. It's like this all over in the hotel, but it's red. It's really, it's all over. I'm trying to find a good picture of it, but. Anyway, you get the point. It kind of looks like this in there. It looks like that in there, and it's, like, really bad all over the carpets, and you wonder why that hotel is so, um, so cursed, okay? Um, but that's, um, another example of how this thing, uh, collects bad energy, and it produces bad energy, okay? 
So um, I would really recommend you not having this stuff in your house if you can get rid of it. If you have a rug like this, I would throw it away. I'm not kidding. I know you, I know you guys think it's not hurting you and you don't feel it, but it really is. Um, this stuff is not a joke. I know you, this seems like BS, but you guys, please get rid of it. If you have, if you have something, you can throw it away, um, that, that you can't, that's easiest way I had to get rid of it. Okay. If it's on all over your carpets, uh, that's another, um, if it's like all over, up and down your carpets, that's hard, right? Like this. Oh man. I would try to get rid of it though. It's no joke. I'd just pray a lot and try to get rid of it. I'm not kidding. Anyway, so, um. Think about this stuff, guys. Um, this is some sc seriously scary stuff. Okay. All right. Thank you. There it is. I, ha I had to go get in my phone and get it. I recently went to the Stanley Hotel. <laughs> it was, I knew it was kind of a bad idea, but I went. It was cool. It was nice. And, like, I, this stuff is really pretty. And it, it's unfortunate, though, because this stuff is uh, kind of evil, right? Um... Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is on the carpet all through, all throughout the hotel. This is the Florida Lee, guys. This is what I was trying to look for. But they didn't have the original. This is the, in the real, real this is, if you don't know what the Stanley Hotel is, it's what the Shining's based off of. Okay. So, yeah, this is all up and down their carpet, up and down their stairs right here. It's everywhere. Heavily, heavily decorated with Florida Lee. And people wonder why, um, it's so haunted. Okay. It's everywhere. Okay, ev up. Look at that. That is horrible. You guys wonder the more, the more, the merrier, right? No, this is so bad, guys. When it's like this, it's really bad. Okay, all right. I just wanted to show you those pictures from uh, the Stanley Hotel in the Florida.